All right. Hey, everybody. Mike Giardino <laughs> with CrossFit Health here at the 2022 CrossFit Games. Um, I have a very special guest here with me. He doesn't really need a, an introduction, but we're going to do it anyways. Mr. Jesse Burdick. Thank you very much, my man. Happy to be here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for being here with us. Oh, it's um, my pleasure. Oh, this is great. So we're actually having this interview right before doing a panel on movement compensation, uh, where we have a, a, a pretty amazing list of panelists that are going to be up there. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this panel me because too. I think we offer a lot of different perspectives yeah. on this same topic, um, whether it be high-end strength and conditioning coach. Um, and then we have Stefan, who's you know, running the content uh, for EDU as a senior manager, uh, also strength and conditioning coach, uh, CrossFit coach. We have Kelly that, I mean, I don't have time to list out what Kelly does. <laughs> <laughs> and another physical therapist yeah. who also coaches and has competed. So we just have a, a, an amazing group of panelists. And, on and what's amazing about it is you, you always have and you always do. Yeah. I think that's something that okay. CrossFit in general has always sought out experts in fields yeah. and wanted to learn from them. I think that closed-minded, you know, there's so many people who have their sword and die on it. You know, oh. CrossFit is always looking for other swords to add to their collection yes. to make their other swords stronger. And, you know, I always commend everybody in CrossFit for doing that, for, for having an open mind about what they may not know yeah. um, and how to add that to what they already know and to how to make what they already have a really good idea about, yeah. maybe they don't know 100%, yeah. how to make that stronger, how to make that better. Absolutely. And it's really, really cool experience to A, get to watch it and be a part of it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm super we're, stoked we're to be here. super appreciative for yeah, it. Yeah, no, thank you. For us, you know, I know the minute we think we know everything, we stop growing. Correct. It's over. Yep. Right? So Likewise. We, we have to lean on experts within the community. We need to pull experts <clears throat> from outside the community, into the community, get these conversations going uh, and learn from them yeah. and, then, and start applying it. Right. And that's the whole thing with CrossFit. You apply it. It starts working really well. Like we're going to use it. Yeah. You know, we have to keep learning. Uh, one of the what we're going to talk about in our panel is movement compensation. I just talked to Kelly. Kelly gave us a really good rundown on on what are the um, you know, the implications, what are, what, what's going to happen if we start to compensate movement, whatever it is, whether it's injury, uh, loss of range of motion due to uh, sedentary behaviors or um, just bad positioning over long periods of time, uh, even fatigue in the middle of a workout where all of a sudden everything's going crazy up here and you start moving uh, very inefficiently because things are just breaking down, just, you know, starting mentally with the brain, right? So uh, what I, the question I have for you is, okay, now I'm a coach, I understand the issues with movement compensation. Um, where do I start? Where and when do I start looking for this with my athletes? Right. Do I wait till the workout starts? Um, is it something that happens with the minute they come into the door and you know bend down to put on their shoes? Like how? When am I looking for this? Thing? Yeah. Um, when I started my career, I was really lucky to land in a gym who that was run by a uh, a chiropractor, and everyone that he hired was either uh, a chiropractor, a PT, an AT, or an OT. And for some reason, he hired me for, for, I have no, I honestly still don't to this day understand why. But what we used to do is we had a really, really long runway. And I wasn't allowed to work with anybody for the first four months. We had a long runway from the door to get to the, um, uh, to the workout area. And he literally just sat me down. He said, you're going to sit here. And it was either one of the, the, the top four people who was working there. And he'd sit there and we would watch people walk in and said, what do you see? Wow. And all I did for three months was watch people walk, wow. watch people walk in and think about how they're hunched over, where their toes turned out, were they leaning this way, to the posture, you know, hyperlordotic, you know, anything that I could try to understand, where they turned in, where they walk, where their thumbs in, thumbs out, this, wow. this, that, start to kind yeah. of recognize movement patterns. And then what we, what I created in my brain was starting to put people kind of in columns. And I was in San Francisco in the, in the tech boom, so we had a lot of computer nerds walking in. Oh, so yeah. it, they, a lot of people fell into the computer nerd thing. So roundabout answer to say it is it should be walking in. Yeah. Um, you know, on top of having that, I had a, a, a great strongman friend who anytime that I saw him, the first questions, you know, he'd give me a, give me a big hug. He'd be like, how are you feeling, brother? Yeah. It's like, great. Yeah. And it always, anyone who walks towards me, it, I'm taking in for information, and my first question is, how are you feeling, man? Awesome. And by looking them in the eye, getting that question, looking at their body language, sure. how they go <sighs> and answer your question, <laughs> you're or they're like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to go. You know, I'm so, so that all is so much information that I think is underrated. Yeah. Because if you can watch someone walk in and they're dragging their bag and their shoes are untied and all this other shit, oh, yeah. you, get, you know, like, 
all right, hey, Ken, I got to really dial shit back for, yeah. or I really need to just pay attention to Ken, or maybe I need to make him warm up for X, Y, and Z a little sure. bit more. But I really do think, because <clears throat> any athlete, if you run them through um, a movement pattern screen, yeah. if they're a good enough athlete, mm -hmm. they're going to break your screen. So you're not, so they're going to be able to hide certain things, right. but when they're uninhibited and they don't understand and know that you're watching, you can't hide from them. That's and if your eyes are there and you watch them walk in, you're like, you know, you have, you know, why is this? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? It's like, I, I can see that you're turned in or whatever the case kind of may end up or man, you're really limping. You okay? But like I am yeah. like, Oh yeah, dude, you're landing hard. I'm like, Oh, and then they have to honestly, a lot of, you know, a lot of, Athletes have very, very short-term memories, especially yeah, yeah. with things like this. And you're like, oh yeah, I, I did just hurt myself two days ago. Yeah. Is that still going on? I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, that's okay, well, a, hey, maybe we shouldn't start. Because now they don't know, they don't have a guard up. I'm like, no, just yeah. look at perfect posture. Oh, yeah, what are yeah. you talking about? We're gonna about? do a movement screen. No, okay. no, 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 I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. It's like, it, it's, it's kind of like the white coat syndrome, right? You yeah. go in and all of a sudden your blood pressure jumps 20%. Oh, For yeah. what reason? Because they're taking your blood pressure. Right. Right. So it's kind of the same thing. If you try to diagnose someone when it's diagnosis time, you'll get some answers, but a lot of stuff will get broken. Mm -hmm. People will cheat, they're gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. They can't lie to you walking in, mm -hmm. and if you're a good enough human being and you're a good enough coach and you, it, it, you're a student of psychology and sociology, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. you can look someone in the eye, what their body language is saying, what their posture is saying, what they're breathing, all the things. Yeah. And you can start to put together something. Now I understand that in CrossFit, when you have a ton of people, yeah. that starts to get difficult. Sure. But if you're just, hey, how are you? Well, you can start to see, if you've seen enough people move, yeah. we are as humans designed to see things that are wrong and off, where you're like, oh yeah. Oh man, okay. oh, yeah. her, okay. Yeah. And then it's one of those things. So trying to get them when they're not paying attention or when they're putting on the bar, when they're bending That's down, or say, like yeah. if you ever seen someone with like a, a hamstring pull and they kind of have, yeah, have yeah, to do yeah. one of these the things. The leg to goes pick. out to the side <laughs> as they bend down. Yeah, yeah. But they're, they're, they're telling you something without you asking. And I think that's something that more and more people need to kind of pay attention to. A, that and how they tell you, right? Yeah. The language that they use, all the things. And I mean, I can't tell you, and I, I honestly do not try to elicit this. I'm like, hey man, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, oh don't, like no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Down, it, like, it's one of those, well, I'm like, yeah. hey, let's, let's, go, for, let's yeah. go for a walk for yeah. a second real yeah. quick. Let's, let's check this out, you doing all right? Yeah. Like, no, man, I'm not. I'm like, okay, hey, yeah. I just need you to know I'm happy you're here. And yeah. sometimes it's just a psychological thing and they're sure. like, I'm, I just needed to be needed and happy and I'm glad that you said something. Yeah, I'm like, hey, man, yeah. exactly, exactly. So I think there's, there, there's so much that can encompass it, but personally, Learning from where I kind of came from and just testing it out, yeah. I think everyone would be astonished how much when, they're, when they do not know that you're looking, that's, that's when the magic that's happens. A, that's such an interesting point because, you know, when I, I think about what you just said, so you create, come up with a movement screen, you tell the athlete you're going to do a movement screen, they're thinking about the movement screen, they're going to be able to hide some things. And maybe, like you said, the classes are big. So if I'm a coach and I'm listening to what you just said, it's, yes, I'm going to look at these athletes when they're coming in, but I'm gonna find other opportunities, Absolutely. right? Are they taking a break to go to the bathroom? How are they walking to the bathroom? They're gonna go grab their dumbbells and they don't think anybody's looking. What are they doing to grab their dumbbells? How do they grab their dumbbells? As they're walking back with those dumbbells, you know, what's going on there? Yeah. When they put them over on their, their shoulders and start squatting, you know, they're really actively thinking about that movement to be able to hide some things, right? But when they bend down to tie their shoes and stand up, maybe I can see some things that are happening. Yeah. So, you know, a knee collapse in or whatever it or is. Or they're holding their dumbbells so, walking over right, like this or whatever right. the end of the case is. All you got to just look, is look for inconsistencies or, and I mean, that's that's the coolest part when yeah. someone's like, I'm fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, cool, let's party. And then you see them like, you're not no, good, you're huh? Not. like, yeah, I guess I'm not. <laughs> I, was, I guess I was kind of lying to everyone trying to get through it. and yeah. Which we do, right? Which we, we try do. to convince ourselves that Yes, and I mean, like that. and that's that's part of it, right? Yeah. We You got to take the fucking kids, kid gloves off and yeah. you got to punch eventually and you yeah. got to get hit and you got to hit yeah. um, in order to adapt and make the changes that we want to make sure. and that to make the adaptations long term that we have to. Um, but we're taught, you know, so much so to, to tough through it or whatever it yeah. is. Yeah. And you have to recognize and not, you know, just keep shoving intensity down people's throat. Be like, you're lying to me and yeah. yourself. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. If you want to get hurt, keep going. Right. My suggestion would be this. Yeah. 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 So 
watching movement in between, we'll just call them events, in between sure. events, yes. right? Whether, whether it's, you well, know. Well, we're here, so exactly, yes. Exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> watching movement, uh, good communication. Yes. Good, solid communication. One, on your part, as a coach, talking to your athlete. Two, uh, evaluating their communication, right? When you ask them a question, how are they answering? What is their body position? Where are they looking at yeah. you? All those things are gonna give you a better understanding of how they're feeling and potentially what type of movement compensation due to a physical or mental state that they walk into your gym with. Yeah. And I think it's also, you know, on top of communications, it's actually, and CrossFit does a wonderful job of this, is that actually caring who you're talking to. Yeah, like, hey sure. man, how you doing? It's like, oh, you know, I'm pretty good. It's like, oh, everything all right? It's like, and then if you know what they do for work, you know that they have a wife, they have a kid, yeah. like maybe they're not sleeping. Like, you sleeping all right? No, no, actually, no, I'm not. Style things like, back? All right. That's good that you're in here. There's so much information yeah. that you can get. And even just a suggestion, that's all it takes sometimes. You're like, dude, my shoulder, but bro, I got I to gotta, yeah. I gotta yeah, go. Yeah, and then yeah. someone's like, your shoulder, all right? But like, all right. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I hear you. All I hear you. All right, I'll lay off. Because, yeah. I mean, and it's also one of the things, you know, not walking in and it's also hearing it. But something that I had to kind of learn, and I, I learned it, uh, the, the strongman friend of mine who always was like, hey, brother, how you doing? He, he had a, a horrific accident, broke both of his legs, ended up having oh. to have one of his legs removed. Oh. Every time I see him, hey, brother, how you doing? So, I'm fucking awesome, brother. I'm so strong. I feel wonderful. I'm like, all right. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay, you're willing yourself to say this, yeah. but you're in a hospital. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like I could deadlift 800 right now. I'm like, like, okay. All right. Right. Sweet. Yeah. And so, I mean, if someone comes up with a, an, an, an answer, and it's the can answer, how you doing? Phenomenal. You're phenomenal for three weeks. Yeah. Like, all right. Ching. Yeah, Let's all right. Be, <laughs> right. right. You're lying to me to get to this place. I get it. Yeah. But it's okay if you're not phenomenal, yeah. okay? Or maybe you could stop saying phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's one of those things. How they're saying it, the stuff that they're doing before. Patterns and then, it, and yeah, they if they yeah, are yeah. saying, if it's the same thing, you're like, Either like, you don't me. like me, or yeah. <laughs> this is your answer for everyone, or even asking that, or they they are hiding something yeah. from yeah. one way or the other. Which look, you know, nobody's phenomenal for three weeks in a row. We, I don't they're, they're think up, so. You know, if you are, <laughs> what are you doing? Because exactly, I need to figure that exactly, out. Exactly, a hundred percent. What are you taking? Because awesome. I need to take that as yeah. well. Well, I think this has been great. I don't want to, you know, give away everything before the panel. <laughs> uh, but man, I, I I love those tips for coaches because I think it's really outside of what coaches are typically doing. They're trying to watch movement when the movement is actually taking place. And that's the easiest uh, a point for them to mask or hide some of these, these, these you know, inefficiencies um, where it's much easier to see it when they're kind of checked out and think nobody's looking. Yes, and I mean, in, in reality, when someone is doing whatever the movement is, yeah. your correction, you know, obviously we need it to be really, really Quick. sharp yeah to the point and they need to understand you. Are they, yeah. what kind of a learner are they? Yeah. So there's so many things while they're going that this may be a motor pattern that they've had for 10 years. Yeah. Do you yeah, think yeah. your, hey, chest up is gonna fix it? Right. Probably right. not. They've been doing this for As long as you can take um, stock of that, write yeah. it down, yeah. right? And they're like, hey man, just so you know, when yeah. you're squatting this, I'm like, I am. Yeah. Like you are, it's like, let's videotape yourself next time. But what I want you to concentrate on is anything, you know, just X, Y, and Z throughout the day, try right. and figure that stuff out. Because right. in the moment, it's going to take an extraordinary athlete yeah. and the best cue that you've developed for a couple of years in order to make well, that change. And we have them for one hour a day <laughs> exactly. to give a couple cues. Correct. But if you can give them a cue that now they can apply every time they sit down and stand up or bend down to grab a bag of groceries or whatever it is, and they start cueing themselves yes. for the rest of the day, like, then, you then we want. Yes. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, man. This has Thank been you. great. And we'll uh, be seeing you in a couple hours Hell at the yeah. panel. Hell yeah. I'm excited, man. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. bud. Great.